I have guests on the panel today. Probably the best panel I've ever had. Ever. <laughs> Chad Zumach. Hey, Chad, how are you? You Matt are Dixon. a friend of, uh, a good friend of uh, the Full Charge. Matt Fultron, the Full Charge. He has the Full Charge Power Hour. Power Hour on iTunes. That is a very fun show. He does a good, great job. My name's Chad Zumach. I have a podcast called Sit Down Zumach Podcast. I'm from Ohio. He's from Ohio. Shit's happening. We are a swing state. We make shit happen, Pat Dixon. Right. Okay, all right. You, you, you heard it here first. Ohio is a place. And, uh, you know, various other things. I, I'm, I'm telling you, there's a lot of weird shit happening. That is unacceptable, yeah. Zumach. <laughs> that is so Ohio of you. What is that? It's, it's fucking, this is the best air freshener you can get. Mm. This covers up poo. I thought it was close from. I'm never one to say poo. You know what I mean? I'm not that kind of a fan. Are you texting at the... Uh, no, I was, I was I'm going to make you leave if you do that. You know, because I noticed that you've been dating her for a while. She's been in a better mood. Uh, Probably. You know, you Congrats on fucking her, man. Do you have a dick? That, uh, that's a bit of a personal question. It's very I mean, forward, you Pat. It, I like to call... You can call it a dick. I like to call it an enlarged clit. <laughs> <laughs> that ejaculates semen. Yes, occasionally. Yeah, yeah. If you see a Doesn't pretty well boy. Now, are you into like, men? Now? My muscle bass, Pat. Are, are you into dudes? No, I'm not into dudes at all. Okay. Are you into women? I'm, I'm a lesbian. A lesbian. Got it. Right. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anybody special? Well, I got a, a certain someone, but uh, I don't know if it's serious, Pat. Gay. So, <laughs> Pat Dixon, who who hosts the Crime Report. I like How when you, you look at the look at the sign. It's great to be back at uh, Funny Bones. <laughs> How do you not watch the Oscars when you do a show, man? This is well, I do a show topical. About, I do a show about crime, and that we have our first uh, black man winning best screenplay. Oh, good. African American, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a first uh, black man winning for best African American. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? I didn't watch the Oscars. At all. Did anybody see? Get I watched all that. Yeah. Tell me about Get Out. What the fuck is that all about? It was really good. Yeah? yeah. Get Out was a solid movie. Go ahead. Pat, has anyone ever gotten pussy from the crime report? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. I bet they have. If I think about it, I bet you. No, probably not. Not even Bobo. Pat getting pussy is the crime report. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, this happened in Florida? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to pl uh, plug my Florida Tampa improv date. I'm headlining the improv in Tampa the 28th. So if you guys know these people, come on out. I'll get you free tickets if you know the mother or the the daughter and father that fucked each other. Come on They're out. They're on bail, so they could. Yeah, they I would could love for to them the to come out. He has a real boo face. Yeah, she's <laughs> boo. like. Beautiful be blue eyes, though. Sit, boo boo, sit. Good dog. If they, oh, look at these. They have nice go. mouths as well. That's... Look at how wet that one man's mouth is. Oh, we have a spinning butthole. That's a mm. rarity. That's a rarity. That's. But I mean, there's a lot of stuff to read. The... Yeah. I mean, are you were you there when this happened? Yeah. Oh yeah. Can we uh, review the video? All right. I'll you... have to try to find it. I mean, is that okay? I don't want to get no, any we trouble. We showed it on uh, Anthony's show already. Today? Not today. Like last. Oh, week. Oh, it's like old fucking news. Yeah, kinda. Well, I, that's what we can what catch up. Well, Sandy Kane is suing Compound. I don't know who that is. Media? Yeah. Media, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, W. <laughs> Couldn't get her out. They were trying to give her the hook. How'd she smell? <laughs> Fresh? I, mean, I didn't I didn't jump up and get a big whiff, but you can you can tell what that well, here she is. Oh. Let's go to a call. <laughs> let's go to the phones. Hey, it's Brady from Colorado. Hey Brady, how you doing? Hey, Pat. How are you today? I'm doing very well. How are you recovering, sir? Oh, I'm always good. Hey, I wanted to say that I've never been in an incestual uh, relationship, but I know somebody from Texas, and that's close enough, right? Yeah, I guess. You know, I mean, like in Texas, uh, you know, they, the way they do it there is, uh, you know, right on the border. Nobody buys uh, stamps anymore. What do you think about this Sandy Kane business? I think she's a stupid fucking whore. Yeah. Whoa! Just too soon! To too soon, man. Yeah. She's a she's a I klutz. She's a klutz, and she uh, yeah. All right, so she's gotta go. See you later. Have, have, have um, a good day. Well, yeah, don't you have a fucking spot at seven forty-five? Oh, I see. Are you still there, Brady? He hung up yeah. when you said. Oh, they're still oh, there. No. Okay, good. Yeah, the, Chad Zumach. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. It's fine. I just go ahead. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't saying anything. No, no. I just wanted to tell you, we have the oh. worst panel that we've ever had. He just like ripped fucking Voss a new asshole. Like, like Voss was completely at his mercy. Oh yeah, that's uh, that was Catrice. Most people went in there and they were so scared to say anything. And he went in there and nobody knows who the fuck he is. And all of a sudden he's beating the hell out of everybody. It was great. Yeah, I, did I ever tell you about the time I the, the facilitated the deliveries and set up payments? According to Warren County Prosecutor. David Fornshell, uh, now Adams, an employee of the Martins Ferry-based United Dairy Incorporated, made thousands of dollars sneaking the items in over time. See, I yeah, mean, he's not like a... Calling like, him a milkman. Hey, good morning. You right, know. He's not dressed like a sailor. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a white outfit on and, and knock on doors and leave yeah. bottles and shit. He, he, he unloads like those fucking, you know, right. you see those things. Delivery man. The things you build a fort out of, you know. Andy I mean, Dufresne yeah. knocked on 55 doors and delivered 55 gallons of milk. You can see him in Tampa at the Improv doing similar things. Hey, man, uh, what would you have done if you weren't a comedian? You, you live in the, in, in more or less in the Tampa area. You, you have Chad Zumach coming your way. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, that's where actually where the Improv is, is in Ybor City. The Ybor! <laughs> You're the worst guest I've ever had on the show. A bless. I mean, no, the absolute so worst. Great. His his old drunk sleeping dad didn't know I do that. I don't know. I didn't. I haven't read the Bible in years. You know, I mean, like the the since I've answered the call to prayer. <laughs> Has it? In Seminole Heights, the suburb of uh, Atlanta, last year there was a bunch of killings going on, and me and the guardian angels were out there for two months straight, and I was actually getting up at four thirty in the morning till six. 6.30 doing crime patrols out You there. are a real-life superhero. The bus stations and all that. Not afraid to get up in, early in the morning to fucking fight crime. Now, did you, did you actually encounter any criminals? We encountered, like, some sketchy people walking out of a slumbag, scumbag hotel down to the corner of the 7-Eleven. And, oh, that's over know, by the Claremont, Claremont uh, Hotel, right? That's a nice place. May I ask what no. made them sketchy? No, no, no. Was, I think it was actually called the uh, the Alaska Inn <laughs> and so forth, which I found really hilarious. I mean, these were just like thirty dollars a week hotels. Absolutely disgusting. Thirty dollars a week. One guy pulled up. Are they hiring? Go ahead. I didn't mean to overtalk. <laughs> uh, the guy coming down to Tampa. Have a great time. You'll love it there in Ebor. God bless you. No intention to come see you. Everyone in Florida is running away from something. Mm -hmm. Just to give you an idea how crazy Florida is. O.J. Simpson went there to hide. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to go there where it's safe. Washington. They're being held in Steele County Detention Center, charged a second-degree assault with a dangerous weapon, and they face up to 10 years in prison. Yeah, hey, if you put a fucking machete in somebody's head, yeah. That was your big break. Yeah. Is that a VH1? <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's look at this Douglas Nelson cartoon. This comes from New York City Crime Report, which you can hear at crimereport.nyc. 331, be the change. Crank it up. Plug it in. Bucks. Pretty good score. Life-changing money for a homeless man. $8,600. That's pretty good. He could have taken that money, got on a bus... And ne we would have never heard from him again. Uh, yeah, but uh, did we? I mean, has he been caught? Yeah, I mean, we we know all about him. We know. <laughs> <laughs> he, he thinks he's Captain America. His name is David Hilton, 33. And uh, I'm Captain America, he said, according to sources. He, once the cops caught up with him, he, uh, he just was kind of bonkers. They found him about seven blocks away from the Bank of America that he allegedly robbed. This is in White Plains. Uh, well, it's on, excuse me, it's on White Plains Road in the Bronx. Yeah. So when he came in with his crossbow, he said, give me the money. He made off with that, uh, with the over eight grand. Around 10, 15 a.m., sources said he ditched the crossbow and his clothes later in the day and was eventually caught outside a pizzeria near Wallace Avenue and Astor Avenue where he was flashing cash. Huh. Somebody like, hey, Look pizza on me. <laughs> Hey, Pat, can I call you Boss Hog Dixon? We know where you're going to be, Chad. You're going to be down in at Ebor City at the motherfucking. I say where I'm going to be next week, dude. I you can you could have just done your calendar the whole show. Oh, <laughs> I would have been fine with that. The 16th and 17th of March, I'm be at the Hard Rock Roxino in Northfield Park, Ohio. Very nice, our hometown, and uh, come out headlining, killing it. 
things are happening. Yeah. I'm going to Pennsylvania on f- Saturday. What for? Vacation? Spring oh, break? Show. I got a show out there, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Meadville. Meadville? Meadville? Yeah, baby. Finally. Finally. Holy shit. Finally, James Myers will be in Meadville. What's, They've what, been actually, clamoring for me for years. What's the gig? I think I know where it's at. Uh, it's at a brewery, I think. Okay. Salt Lake hey, City, going on, guys? Utah. What's happened, Ing- Andrea? Andrea, I have a package from you, and I'm going to open it with my... Yeah, you got to share the moment. Yeah, that's, that's how I felt. Yeah, I'm like super fucking stoked. I can't wait to see it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm going to definitely bring some Hillary Clinton videos to uh, make you happy. And uh, <laughs> they, won't be, they won't be celebrating uh, the uh, once First Lady and Secretary of State. Uh, I would be disappointed if it was a celebration. So, uh, yeah, I was going to clear up uh, the legality of uh, upskirts for you as that came up. Oh, my God. Perfect. Please. Yes, please. I would Uh, love that. So basically, since upskirts are kind of a new phenomenon, unless explicitly outlawed by a state, so for example, Massachusetts in 2014, Texas in 2015, they're pretty much legal. Uh, Really? Washington. Yeah, Washington, D.C. 2014 decision was basically uh, if you're in a public place and uh, the skirt is uh, in public view, you can't prevent someone from taking photos. Uh, And Georgia was a little more lenient, basically saying unless the woman was in a bathroom stall or a changing room, perfectly legal. Wow. So if you're a woman who enjoys wearing short skirts, don't go to Georgia. Well, you know, go there, but just don't be a, a priss about it if somebody, you know, happens to take a photo, you know. And, and here's the other thing. If, uh, what if, what if you do have to actually kind of, you know, like look up her skirt? Is, is it, it's illegal then, right? Like, like if, if it's not in full view, say I have to like make a little effort, say I have to kind of like do like this, you know, just a little though. Assault is a little bit different than battery. So assault means that she's afraid that you're going to touch her. So... You don't actually have to complete actual physical touch. No, I'm so not. I'm you're talking close enough to look under the skirt. We're that, talking like, about two different design. things. Two different things. I'm saying, like, <laughs> what if I'm just hanging out at the bottom of the stairs, and you know, there's a, a one of those railings that you can see through that she's holding on to, and I'm and I'm hanging out there for the specific reason of looking up. Oh, you're in the clear. You're fine. Okay. Even now, in New York City. The only the only catch would be you might want to check uh, actual state laws. I know that's legal in D.C. and in Georgia. <laughs> well, but, uh, the only catch might be it might be illegal. It's a state-to-state state thing. It's not a federal deal. Thank you so much for clearing that up. I, do you ever wear a skirt? Uh, on occasion. <laughs> yeah. Not very often. No. Only, only when you have to put on your, your dress uniform, huh? Well, we got to go because uh, these, um, it, it's, it's the worst show ever. But I will say this. Thank you for being here, Chad. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate you having me on, Pat. I'm a big fan. I've known about your comedy for a long time. I've known about you since I started comedy. I feel like you're about to fucking reveal a master plan to murder me. No. (laughs) 2005, I I, I got on my... But I remember hearing Pat Dixon's name for a long, long time. (laughs) I'm a big fan. I've known about your comedy for a long time. I've known about you since I started comedy. I'm a big fan. I've known about your comedy for a long time. 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 I wish I was a gatekeeper. I would help you.